Since 2003, the Continental Shelf Project of the Kingdom of Denmark has acquired data in three marine areas off Greenland in order to extend the Continental Shelf beyond 200 nautical miles. This work was undertaken within the framework of Article 76 of the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. Ice conditions north of Greenland are extreme, and no surface ship had previously been able to penetrate the perennial sea ice in this area. As ice maps from 2007 show, the sea ice drifts towards Greenland, creating extreme conditions where ice thickness along pressure ridges often exceeds 10 meters. Mapping of the continental shelf began closest to the coast of North Greenland. Here, ice camps were used as a base for data acquisition in cooperation with Canada. One target area was the Lomonosov Ridge. If this underwater mountain range could be proven to be morphologically and geologically continuous with Greenland, the Kingdom of Denmark could claim a large area in the Arctic Ocean. In 2006, a seismic refraction experiment mapped the crustal structure from Greenland onto the Lomonosov Ridge. Geophones and explosives were deployed using helicopters and small fixed-winged aircraft. Two, one. Sound waves from the explosions were registered by geophones located on the sea ice along 150 kilometer long transects. Single beam echo sounders placed on the surface of the sea ice acquired bathymetric data in the area where the Lomonosov Ridge adjoins Greenland. In the spring of 2009, a DC-3 aircraft measured the Earth's gravity and magnetic field. These measurements contain information on the crustal structure and therefore supplement the seismic data. Farther offshore in the central parts of the Arctic Ocean, icebreakers were used during three expeditions. During data acquisition in 2007, the Russian nuclear icebreaker Pobedi, the world's largest and most powerful icebreaker, supported the Swedish research icebreaker Odin. Chunks of sea ice the size of a car could easily damage the seismic equipment deployed behind Odin. In order to acquire high-quality seismic data, even in very heavy ice, specialized equipment had to be developed to withstand the extreme ice conditions. Sound waves were created by air guns and penetrated the sediments below the seabed. Odin towed a 200-meter-long hydrophone cable to record the reflections from the sediment layers. These data provide information about the thickness of the sediments, which is one of the factors defining the size of the claim made by the Kingdom of Denmark. Sono boys were used to obtain velocity information in the sediments in order to calculate the sediment thickness in meters. In 2009 and 2012, when Uden operated on her own, a channel had to be broken in the ice prior to launching the seismic equipment, which also made it easier to measure water depth. In heavy ice conditions, Uden had to stop and rotate around her axis in order to map the seabed in 3D using her multi-beam echo sounder. In 2012, the scientific team managed to recover 350 kilograms of rock material from the steep scarps of the Lomonosov Ridge. The rock samples have since been age dated to demonstrate the geological connection between the Lomonosov Ridge and Greenland. The claim filed with the Commission on the limits of the continental shelf by the Kingdom of Denmark on December the 15th, 2014, 
is based on data acquired between 2006 and 2012 in the area north of Greenland, together with publicly available data. The hatched area on the map shows the submission area in the Arctic Ocean.